idea for the whole group just had to do with starting um, a record label that we did start and ran ourselves called Animal. Um, and it, what, the collective wasn't even part of it, but the idea was just that we would be putting out music on that label and that each record would kind of have its own energy that didn't necessarily feel like a linear thing. It would be more of this kind of, you know, sprouting tree or, or just, yeah, just music in the ocean that you could kind of just like dive into wherever you wanted to. And I think that was sort of the initial reason we wanted to do that and I think that's always kind of been at the heart of, of what we like doing and there's like I think most people see us as this like linear band and that's in some ways that is something that like we also like doing it's like one of the it is sort of like a, a you know we're, we're big fans of a lot of bands that have that kind of like story to them but we also have this whole other kind of way of relating to music. Here comes again, I'm breathing heavily. I rip 
matter of a moment's worth of love. In a matter of a moment, I can see. We just begin.
I feel like when we decide that we're going to, I guess what we would consider like an animal collective record proper, there's usually a pretty heavy like demoing period where, uh, you know, the three of us now, uh, Noah and I and Josh, like come up with songs or, you know, that we've been working on over, you know, certain periods of time and record them ourselves, demo versions, pass them around to each other. And we've been sort of been doing it that way, I'd say, since Meriwether Post, Post Pavilion. Sometimes certain songs can go through maybe like five different incarnations until we feel like we find, find the right one. Sometimes we'll play certain, certain songs live and then after a tour, thank God, you know, we don't like that version. Let's try something else because we like the song and the melodies. Um. Can, can, you, can you help us out with a note out there? Can you go, hey.
all three of us on this record, coincidentally, I think are like bringing something new to the table that we have not brought in Animal Collective Records before, like Dave playing live bass, guitar, which is almost not on any of our records, let alone like Dave playing it. Josh like doing mostly keyboards instead of guitar. So like I heard, I was just, just felt like I, I've been faking something and then here was this organic thing that I could interact with. And it just felt like it was supposed to, like this realization was supposed to happen. All that kind of stuff, the hurdy-gurdy bass, like just comes from music that we like listening to, basically. It's just like, it's all out there. We, you know, uh, so much music is accessible and, and fun for us to dive into. We just listen to so many different kinds of music from around the world. But I also think it's just, we just force, force these kind of, force ourselves into these situations where I feel like um, using an instrument that I'm not very comfortable with, I feel like opens up these kind of doorways to being creative and writing new stuff. And I feel like you or I will play an instrument for a couple years or like say Sung Tong's is very acoustic guitar oriented. And after a few years of, of working on material, uh, that kind of material becomes very repetitive. I feel like you get into kind of like a, this is what I do with this instrument kind of thing. So I feel like we've always over the years just um, force ourselves to pick up new things and, and, and it just it creates this new approach.
Trees and falling. 